Welcome to Nux News, your source for news from around the Nux community. Brought to you by Full Stack Jack. Visit the Full Stack Jack YouTube channel for more. There's been a change of guard on the Nux team. If you didn't know, Poya Parsa headed up the Nux framework team and got us over the hump to version 3.0. He's been a driving force in not only Nux, but also Universal JS, which is an assortment of JS tools that powers many of Nux features under the hood. Poya will continue doing great things on the Nux team. I think I speak for everyone in the Nux community when I say thank you for your service to this framework and to this community. I look forward to seeing what you dream up next. Daniel Rowe has taken the reins heading up the Nux team. Let's take a look at the Nux vision for 2023, penned by Daniel on behalf of the Nux team. But before we do, a quick announcement. By the powers vested in me from my laptop and the fact that no one can stop me from doing it, I now pronounce Daniel Rowe the head Nuxketeer. Hashtag head Nuxketeer. First up, unifying Nux. Having Nux repositories separated helped the Nux team move faster in the development of Nux 3. But with that major version completed, an important change will be unifying Nux into a single repository. The team is moving at such breakneck speed, I didn't even have time to make this video before they turned this to do into a to done. What else is on the agenda? As far as modules go, the main priorities at the start of the year are Nuxt Image, Nuxt PWA, and Nuxt Auth. They've already made a ton of progress on these modules, and I look forward to creating tutorials on them in 2023. Which reminds me, you should check out Nuxt Mailer, which will allow you to send emails from your Nuxt application with these. I have a link to the GitHub repo in the description. Like Mario's, stars give me the power to push through any obstacle, so don't forget to leave one while you're there. Developer experience and performance are the stars of the Nux framework. In the coming months, there will be a continued focus on developer experience and performance. Expect to see Nux dev tools and CLI improvements for scaffolding and more. It's important to know what's coming, and the Nux team is going to ensure they communicate clearly about what's happening with Nux through regular updates. And don't forget to subscribe if you like getting these sorts of updates via videos like this one. Don't worry, I have time, I'll wait. Part of keeping things easy to follow is having a simple and easy to follow release cycle. Nux uses semantic versioning, which in a nutshell means major, minor, patch. In the upcoming 3.1 release, you can already find a host of bug fixes as well as experimental server only components and component island renderer, as well as Nitro 2, Vic 4, and Rollup 3 support. The sun is setting on Nux 2, which will reach end of life on December 31st, 2023. Part of the Nux team's focus this year, therefore, will be supporting everyone who wants to migrate their apps to Nux 3. They will also be working to backport key bug fixes and security fixes to Nux 2. The sun is rising on a new era of the Nux framework, and I, for one, am excited to be part of this community. Thanks for watching.